If you are somebody like me who is spending most of his time figuring out how to deploy the best possible voice AI assistant for your customers or clients, you would have also spent countless hours of your time figuring out how to make the damn calendar bookings work. The first thing you would have stumbled upon is time zones never match. Make.com has a different time zone on organization level and a different time zone at the scenario level. That's the first problem. The second problem is that even if you input any time zone, the receiving node inside make.com has its own time zone selector and that is only possible to select from the scenario level time zones. So now you feel stuck and you try to figure out how to convert the time zone sent from your WAPI assistant or any other voice AI tool that you are using to Zulu time. And Zulu time is one of the most unnecessary thing that I have come across. Yes, it's important in development and yes, it keeps things in order. But if I had a choice to include Zulu time inside my voice assistant versus snatching all my hair out, I'll probably choose the second option. And finally, you would have encountered the final boss of all the lost hours of your life that is called Google Free Busy API. Here is my opinion about Google Free Busy API. Anyway, so after spending countless hours in figuring that out, oh, and also even if you were able to figure all that out, this was only possible to be deployed for only one time zone. God forbid, if you're working in several time zones, there is no way to figure out what the time zone is. And then there is no way to pass the time zone value easily to your voice assistant automation inside make.com so that it can provide your available hours to the client on the call in his time zone and not yours. Believe me, it was so bloody unnecessarily complicated. But today, after spending all of that time myself and after troubleshooting a lot of other people, I want to tell you an insane shortcut that would allow you to bypass all these complexities and just input your calendar API key and let the LLM figure out everything else for you. And with this, you also have the flexibility to change your time zones for a specific agent. You can have different video conferencing tools like Zoom, Google Meet or any other customs. You can send reminders and you can do a lot of things that you can do in any third party calendar API. So let me just take you to the process which will render all of these complex tasks, all of these automations just useless and you can start using the correct date and time for your booking agent today. And for that, I'm not going to use WAPI because it doesn't have that support yet. I'm going to use a different voice provider which is my favorite right now, that is Retail AI. Let's go. Okay, so let me tell you how the whole process of automating the availability check would have looked like or even it is looking for a lot of you right now in make.com and that is like this this is just for checking the availability when somebody uh, invokes that function for the ai assistant on the call the first thing we had to do was create a webhook that would send that data so that this whole automation can be activated next step would have been to uh, invoke a chat gpt module so that it can convert whatever time that function provided the webhook with to the Zulu time or the UTC time, which I was talking about because Google FreeBusy API understands only this and no other format. So that's something you had to do. Next step would be to pass that JSON, which we got from here. And then we had to set up the variables because we cannot uh, book on Saturday and Sunday. And there is no way to exclude holidays or Saturdays or Sundays by default. So you had to format that date, take that uh, date from this JSON and cut everything else apart from the day so that you can figure out if it's a holiday, a Saturday or, or a weekend or a Sunday so that you are not available for that day for that booking, right? And then you have to make a Google free busy API call and you have to pass all of these details with the time zone, which is hard coded, right? Because I'll tell you, make.com has this problem of having two different time zones. One is at organization level and one is at scenario level. So just for an example, if I go here, you will see this thing which says, write this, time zone is this and you cannot change it in a specific node or in a specific scenario. It either changes for the whole scenario or all the scenarios or it changes at the organization level of your make.com account. So that was a really, really big pain, which costed me a lot of hours. And I know a lot of other people who were struggling with that as well. 
right? So somehow you passed all of these details and managed to actually get the available time for your calendar. Now what happens is you had to put a router in which you had to put uh, if there was no events, then obviously you can tell that uh, the time slot was available. But if there were events, so you had to put an array filter, which would have been if the body of the response from the FreeBSD API has an array length not equal to zero, which means that the time is already booked. There are events. If there is something in the array, which means there are events already inside that time zone or that time slot. So you cannot book that. Now you have to find an alternate time zone and that's another task, right? For that, you have to get an iterator and then iterate through all of these uh, responses. Then you have to create a JSON and parse that JSON. Then you have to invoke a chat GPT uh, node, which will do all of these conversions and you have to make all these rules and parse all of these JSONs. And then finally, you had to uh, tell the webhook that, okay, these times are alternates, these times are available instead of what you just had asked. And doing all of this, you just hoped that the time zone did not have a mix match, right? And all of this was just a lot of praying and a lot less of confidence, right? And even after all of this, the booking was still not made. To make the booking, you had to do another scenario, which was this one. So you had to uh, get the webhook response if the user wanted to book the appointment. Then you had to again call the FreeBSD API and then tell it to book uh, your meeting. Now the problem comes that this time zone is not changeable, right? So there you are stuck again and you just hope that this time zone does not create a problem, right? And then if this was true, then you give a response out that, okay, now it's possible to book your meeting and all this hassle to just book a simple meeting, right? So I was fed up and I found a way out and that was using Retail AI, right? Retail AI is another fabulous offering of voice AI agents. Uh, it's very similar to WAPI, but it's a lot less complicated, right? I'll tell you how. First of all, let's check that what exactly they are offering. So I think they are offering mostly the same things and uh, their pricing is also really nice. So if you go to pricing, you can see the pricing is also competitive and it's, I think, almost the same. And yeah, so go to Retail AI and then sign up for an account. I'll just straight away go to my dashboard and tell you how to link your Cal.com account with uh, Retail so that you can start booking right away without any problems. Okay. Okay. So now we are at the dashboard level of Retail AI. So I'll add an agent. And I'll just do single prompt for simplicity and I'll just start from blank. Okay. So right now it's here and uh, this is the dashboard of uh, creating an agent. It's, it looks very similar to WAPI and it has almost all the similarities, but there are a few things that are really great inside Retail, which I'll just tell you now. So let's change this model to 40 mini, which is my favorite and and the thing that you're looking for is right here. So tools are exactly the same as uh, tools in WAPI, which were functions before. So both of these uh, providers call these as tools. And the best tools that are available for you right now is this. So it already has a check availability node. And the second one is book the meeting, right? So we'll configure both the nodes right now. So we'll configure this and we'll also add the booking okay so one is availability and one is booking right so so here we just have to add two things one is the api key and second is the event id let me show you how to do that so we log into our cal.com account okay and we go to settings on the left and we go to api keys and then we'll add an api let's say i'll say it youtube and i'll click never expire and i click save so I get this API key, I go back to retail and I paste my API key here as well as here. Okay. Now, second thing I have to change is event ID. Now we go back to Cal, we click done, we go back and let's say I want to book a meeting for this one. Okay. So we go here and we click edit and we go to our URL bar and this is our event ID that we, that we want to copy from here inside retail. Okay, so we copy this and we go back to retail and we paste our IDs both at the same thing, right? And you see, 
time zone is optional because it's going to figure out itself what the time zone is and i'm going to teach you how to also learn from the from the user what time zone it is okay now we have saved it here now i'll just tell the prompt okay and the next best thing is uh retail knows by default what current time and date is which is something that vapi struggles with strangely right so i can just prompt it the current time is let me just check if this is the correct prompt so we go here we go dynamic variables and right here yes current time is this one so i copy this i paste it like that this is how we tell the llm that the current time is the exact time that is right now it doesn't matter what the knowledge cutoff is because the current time is very crucial in setting up the meetings if the agent doesn't know the correct time it cannot figure out what is tomorrow what is day after and usually humans speak in this language tomorrow day after this weekend next week they usually don't speak in dates so that is something that was really hard to do otherwise but here it is very easy right so i'll just give it a prompt uh you are a booking agent ask for the name email and email from the user check the available times offer available slots and book a meeting in the selected slot by the user okay so uh, we don't even have to tell uh, retail that invoke this uh, tool when when uh, somebody asks for availability and invoke this one when somebody asks for booking because it knows that okay so i click save it and the best and the and the most wonderful thing about retail is you don't have to call your agent to test out your uh, prompts you just can talk to agent with text like this and this in my opinion speeds up my workflow so much because i don't have to always call the agent and test it out i can just text and work in an extremely faster way right so let me just demo what that looks like so let's say i invoke a conversation uh let's say i tell let's say i tell it to book a meeting so my name is rish let's say Let me ask what slots are available. What slots are available tomorrow? So it automatically will invoke uh, the check availability and it tells me these time zones, these slots are available. So let me now ask what other times are available. Uh, what times are available on the weekend? It automatically will invoke avail check availability and it will again tell the result like that right okay let me change the time zone let me tell it i am in nyc okay so let me see yeah so what it just did was that i was in new york city and it adjusted the time zones to edt instead of uh, our previous pdt so here right here the biggest problem of your life has just been solved of the time zones okay so right now let's say uh, for this demo i'll book from i'll book one slot for saturday 12 pm okay book the saturday 12 pm slot please so now it's working for booking and your appointment has been booked let me see my cal.com and here is the appointment it came right in front of you in real time with no problems at all right so this was how you do it and one more thing you can i can i'll exit this and let's say you don't want to take a chance of user telling their time zones themselves because sometimes they just assume that you would know or someone an ai who's calling will know the time zone only we know that ai is not so such smart that it can figure out the time zones on itself yet but the users don't know that so one prompt i figured out is uh also ask the city of the user and guess the time zone from it okay so now let's test with 
this new prompt that we have just added okay let's go here and let's say I please make so it's now asking that if you're looking for booking a meeting please provide your name email and city and in this one sentence all the problems have just vanished because these are the only things you need to figure out the user's time zone so the user doesn't have to be confused with multiple questions in multiple lines just one thing that tell us your name email and city and rest will figure out okay so let's do that wish com and i am in let's say texas okay let's do that okay so it has figured out that i'm in central time zone right and it has converted my time zones which are available in whatever time zone it was it doesn't matter convert it to cdt okay so let me just book for friday 11 a.m okay book me for friday 11 a.m okay right so it has been successful and let's go with this one and here we see that this event is successful and booked and this is showing this time in my time zone while this event was booked at 11 a.m cdt so the event was booked at client's time zone but you are being shown in your time zone which is the exactly correct way to do it and this is how easy it was to set the appointment settings with your voice ai assistant or voice ai agent and i think retail needs its own uh, video which i'm going to make really soon because it's an amazing platform which is much easier to set up even the api docs are much easier to understand and implement so i'm going to make another one just to explain what retail is and how to work with it so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you in the next one take care